And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. Ezekiel 36, 26, New Living Translation. I found this article tucked in the back of the Atlanta Journal a few days after the events that it describes had happened. It was Monday, August 22, 1994. Chester Schuber lay in his hospital bed in Michigan making the hardest decision of his life. If he said no, it probably would be the last major decision he ever made. But how could he say yes? You see, Chester was waiting for a heart transplant. He had been waiting for one for quite a number of months. He would soon die if the right donor heart was not found. But in the midst of all of his medical problems, the family had gotten some awful news on Thursday, the week before. Their youngest daughter, Patty, age 22, had been involved in a terrible accident down in the Smoky Mountains. Chester and his family said goodbye there in the hospital in Michigan. They knew that they might not ever see Chester alive again, but they all flew down to Tennessee to be with Patty as the doctors struggled to keep her alive. But Sunday morning, it was clear there was no hope. Patty was declared brain dead. It was only the machines that were keeping her body alive now. Monday morning, first thing, a doctor walked into Chester's room, followed by the other members of the heart team. Chester, he said, we have found a perfect heart. It's a perfect match for yours. It's your daughter Patty's heart. Will you take it? Tears streamed down Chester's face as he lay there in the hospital bed in Michigan. Finally, alone, at least alone, with no other family there with him, finally Chester choked out in a whisper, Yes, it would be an honor to have Patty's heart. Instantly, teams in Tennessee and Michigan went into action. Patty's heart was flown to Michigan, where Chester was already in surgery to remove his dying heart. And five hours and 51 minutes later, Patty's heart was beating in Chester's chest. Can you imagine what it must have been like for Chester? He wakes up in the recovery room at least halfway and, and he feels his heart beating normally for the first time in years and suddenly his foggy mind realizes it's not his heart, it's his daughter's heart. A few days later he takes his first tentative steps, first steps in a long time, and tears begin to run down his cheeks as he realizes that he is walking because Patty will never walk beside him again. Through the next months and years, he goes to reunions and weddings and graduations, and everyone else is smiling and happy and snapping pictures, and suddenly Chester bursts into tears because he realizes he's in the picture because Patty is not. That's what Jesus did for us. He died so that we could live. And now he promises that his heart of love can be beating in us. If we will only accept it, he will take, our, take away our dead stony heart and give us a new heart, his heart. Will we take it? Oh Lord Jesus, Thank you for making it possible for us to live. Today I want to say yes. I want to have you take away my old, worn out, dirty, sin polluted heart and give me your heart. In your name I pray, amen.